to the Gay and Gayer podcast. Fun fact, listening to this podcast makes you gayer by the second. I am one of your hosts, Alex. I'm your other host, Nick. Wonderful. Today, we have a nice quick one for you because life is hard and we need time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so today, we are each going to give three fun facts, and then we are going to commentate on it. I hope you're ready for some fun facts. Yes. Would you like to go first, or shall we trade? Uh, we should just go, like, back and forth. All right. I will go first. Very good. Very good. Um, fun fact. Last night, I found a YouTube channel where a puppeteer teaches you how to make a Muppet, and then I proceeded to watch that channel for three hours straight. And now I have a basic understanding of how to make a Muppet. <laughs> my yeah, my dad As told exactly. My dad told me about that uh, the the uh, the channel last night, and then I kept watching them. And I told him, "You do realize this was a bad idea, because now I'm gonna go feral, and just any time I'm able to even remotely make a Muppet, I'm gonna go for it, right?" <laughs> yeah, but it was yeah. the the process is actually pretty simple. I've actually done something like it for some of my sculptures before. Is the weird thing. That's good. Yeah, so I was just Your like, experience. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was just watching. I was like, that looks familiar. Hmm. <laughs> I will have a Muppet. I want a Muppet. Muppet is the top peak of form. Very good. <laughs> Your turn. Okay. Um, my turn. Yes. We're gonna start this off with lighthouses oh i like lighthouses um the oldest lighthouse is the lighthouse of alexandria how dare but, you but that's what? not the oldest still functioning lighthouse Ooh. the oldest functioning lighthouse is hook lighthouse hook and lighthouse. it is in ireland oh <laughs> like to go there at some point yeah yeah i i have this very profane belief that all lighthouses are haunted in some way that's probably true <laughs> <laughs> but for your sake we're going to pretend that it's not but we're just gonna pretend that he he tall building has light <laughs> he he tall building has rotating light is pretty make sure people don't get killed on rock yeah <laughs> Where's the where's the tower uh, the light uh oh Jesus where's the light tower of Alexandria? It's in Egypt. It's in Egypt. Oh shit. Egypt. Fancy. Oh that ma that makes sense actually. Yeah. Tower of Alexandria. Yeah that no that makes sense actually. All right. Well, that was a very good fun fact. I'm glad we learned these facts. Yes, good fun facts. Good fun facts. All right. My second fun fact is a little bit an <laughs> anger-filled. <laughs> um, uh, fun fact, Michael Chu quit Blizzard, so now all my hopes of Overwatch lore are completely shattered. Oh, gosh. He quit Blizzard. I found that out the other day. And, like, let me tell you, <laughs> um, when I was looking on my phone at Google News dot whatever, um, yeah. I saw that story, and I literally reacted as if uh, a, a national event occurred. Like, I said, oh my god! <laughs> and my dad was like, what? And I go, Michael Chu quit Blizzard! And he looks at me like, really? <laughs> it was like a national event in my household. That's funny. Because we were just... Because I was so... Because... Afterwards, we were just talking, and he was just like, well, maybe he wanted to go in a direction with the story, and Blizzard kept, like, uh, stonewalling him, and whenever you're in that situation, you just kind of gotta get out, and I'm just like, yeah, I understand, but now he's left all of us lore fans to perish. Yeah. <sighs> he was behind so many- Overwatch, Overwatch lore is a mess. It is, but like, there are just these pockets of where everything's good. Like, whenever they revealed that Soldier is gay, that was a top tier moment. Yeah, I I, that. I was so happy on that day, because my favorite character is also gay. Wonderful. 
finally I can uh, I can relate to something. Yeah. Oh no. And he was and Michael Che was behind a lot of the lore stories and everything like other than um Soldier 76 uh, story. I'm pretty sure he ha also had a hand in Bastet and like all the other fucking things and just like now he's gone. What am I going to do? Suffer. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, Overwatch 2 is lore-based. It's story-driven. Oh, no. So he quit right before it can... <laughs> if it's revealed that Reaper is actually a villain in, instead of a, like a double agent or like a guy seeking retribution, then I am going to blame Michael Chu leaving, damn it. <laughs> Oh, that's such a that's such a good story up. I'm not gonna get into it. I can go on about Overwatch lore for literal years, but that's not what we're here. We're here for the fun fact that Michael Chu quit. We're here for the fun facts. <laughs> My hopes are shattered. <sighs> Your turn. Um. Okay. The next fact mm -hmm. is about birds. Oh. Specifically about finches. Ooh! If you can't visualize a finch, they're the little hoppy birds. Tiny boys. Yeah. They are in Hotterful Boyfriend. Anyway, are continue. They? Yeah, there's a finch in there. Continue. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, a group of finches Ooh. is called it's... a charm. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say a finch. A what? A finch. A fine? <laughs> yeah. a group of finches is a fine. Continue, please. <laughs> no, they they live in groups called charms. Aww. Um, and you can have finches as pets, hmm. but but they don't adjust well oh. to like human interaction. So if you have a finch, it's mostly you just like look at your finch go. <laughs> All right. Um. There's many finch facts, so we're just going to keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Continue. Um, finches cannot be alone. They need other finches. Oh. It's very important. If you're going to get a finch, you got to get two of them. Two. Um, they must have friend. They have tiny voices. They have tiny voices, you they say. They have tiny voices. They sing, but they don't sing uh, like loud. They're just like... <laughs> Um, like when you hear a jam in public, but you still have to jam. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they live between four and seven years in the wild. That's but pretty they decent. Live Twenty years, ish, when they're hey. living with people. Jesus, that's a that's a long lived bird. A long lived bird. Mm. Pretty good. Mm, very good. Those are all my finch facts. I'm very happy with your finch facts. Yeah. The fast finch facts. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. I also have a... Uh, well, I had a bird fact, but now I want to... I'm not going to... Well, I'll say it quickly. A baby puffin is called a puffling. A baby puffin? A puffin. Baby oh, puffin. Baby puffin. It's is called it a puffling. Puff That's so cute. Yeah, it's like and, the, on. and that like a tiny. Uh, all right, but that wasn't the fact. I had four facts technically, and I wanted to choose, but now I uh, here I have another one for you. Quick, okay. this yes. one I can talk about more. Yes. Uh, M and M, you know those little boys, yes. I do know those little boys. Those little boys. Well, fun fact, the M uh, M and M actually stands for something. Mm and mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, sadly. That would have no. been better. Um, it actually stands for Mars and Murray. Oh. Uh, okay. And the story behind it is... Uh, okay, uh, basically the sons of the Mars company, right? That's, the, yes. the, that's what produces M&Ms. Yeah. Well, the son of the pr uh, creator of Mars, I believe... He teamed up with the son of the uh, of the guy of Hershey's. Oh, the, the son of uh, the guy who created Hershey's. The sons teamed up, and uh, the Hershey's 
uh, last name was Murray, and then for Mars, for the son of M uh, of the Mars industry, um, and so they teamed up and they made these little chocolate uh, hard candy covered morsels, and to name them, they just called them Mars and Murray, which got shortened to M and M's. That's real cool. Yes. The teamwork makes the dream work. Yes. Yeah, uh, it was Forest Mars. That is a name. Yeah. <laughs> it was for, uh, Forest Mars and... Uh, shit, what was the name? Stop talking about Mars. I care about fucking Murray. Oh my god. Never mind. It won't tell me. It just wants me to know all about fucking Murray. Mars and Murray. Mars and Murray. Yeah, so guess what? Your M&Ms are just fucking uh, advertising <laughs> for who created... Which, well, at the... Think about how dope it is. They had their fucking signature as the goddamn name of their product. Yeah. And the, thi cool. and the thing was, the son of the Mars, uh, the Mars creator, he was estranged. So it's like a constant fuck you. That's really cool. Like, I made this shit, you didn't. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, a fun candy fact. Very good. Another fun you. candy fact. I actually don't like M and M's. <laughs> 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 so there's that. <laughs> Your turn, dear sir. It is my turn. Okay. Mm. A related fact, Ooh. because it is not about food, but it's about drinks. Mm. It's about tea. Mm. Hooray! So, um, I'm gonna be talking about the four different kinds of tea. There are four, there are different, other, kinds four of... different kinds of tea. There are other kinds of tea, That's but... 82. Yeah, there's a lot of different teas, but yeah. I'm gonna be talking about black, oolong, green, and white tea. There's white tea? The fuck? Yes, there is. I didn't... I'm gonna get there. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, please continue. <laughs> so, um, those are the kinds of tea that I'm going to be talking about. Fun fact, those are all made out of the same plant. Really? Yes, and the way that they get their different flavors is from getting, like, the leaves at different times and oxidizing them at different levels. Oh, that's so, interesting. Black tea is the most oxidized. Mm-hmm. Um, which is why it has, like, Strong. the most, uh, flavor? flavor, and, like, it has higher caffeine content than oh. a lot of other teas. Fancy. Yes. And then oolong tea is, uh, partially oxidized. Partially, okay. Partially. Um, which is good get the best of both worlds. <laughs> it is the midway <laughs> point. Black tea and you get stuff from like green teas. Oh, I like green, green tea. Thai, gr green ties. Green teas are less oxidized. Ooh. And then white teas are dried, but they try not to oxidize them at all. Oh. So yeah. like on a scale from like, the most caffeine to the least caffeine, black tea is at the end, white tea is on the other end. Yeah. Huh, that's interesting. Green tea! I can drink a little bit of green tea. Oh, I can drink matcha. <laughs> <clears throat> Continue? Um, no, I mean, that's basically it. What? I didn't There's even... different kinds of teas. Uh, those four different kinds of teas, they are all from the same plant, and the way that they get their taste is different oxidation levels. Huh. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't even know there was such a thing as white tea. It's pretty good. It's, is it? It's uh, a little naturally sweeter mm. than a green tea. I drink mint. I drink mint tea. Ooh. Like twice in five years. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm the I'm one of the only Texans. That has not drink any tea, sweet, unsweet, any variety. <laughs> no. I drink tea. I drink tea because it's tasty. Yes, I drink coffee because I like getting my stomach lining stripped from me. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it 
does its purpose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it serves its purpose. Ah, well, we have we have done it. We've done it. That was real fast. Yes. Yes. Well, fast just means that we are, uh, we have the, more time to do other things. Very good. <coughs> Take God. care. Oh my gosh. Let's redo that. What? Let's redo that because I just died. <laughs> oh yeah, stop dying. <laughs> I'm trying, man. Take care. Uh, yeah. And remember, we believe in you and have a good day. And, uh, we'll, uh, talk to you next week, I suppose. Alright. Bye! Bye. <laughs>